This is the North American Aviation XB-70A Valkyrie, which lost approximately 15% of its paint during its third test flight. The day was the 12th of October, 1964. In the heart of the Cold War, an idea was born that would redefine the very limits of aviation. Imagine an aircraft so fast, so high, it could outrun any threat and deliver its payload with impunity. This was the vision for the North American XB-70 Valkyrie. It was a six-engined behemoth designed to scream across continents at Mach 3, an unthinkable speed for a bomber of its size. The engineering behind its General Electric YJ-93 engines, each producing over 30,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner, was groundbreaking, pushing metallurgy and thermodynamics to their absolute extremes. The XB-70 was a true titan of the skies, over 189 feet long, with a wingspan of 105 feet. Its construction was unlike anything seen before, a honeycomb sandwich structure made predominantly of stainless steel and titanium, designed to withstand the searing heat generated by sustained Mach 3 flight. This speed was so extreme that friction with the air would heat the aircraft's skin to over 600 degrees Fahrenheit, requiring revolutionary cooling and structural techniques. A fascinating aspect of its design was the ability to compress its own shockwave, by folding its wingtips downwards by up to 65 degrees at supersonic speeds, the XB-70 could essentially ride its own shockwave, improving lift and efficiency. A concept called compression lift, the program pushed the boundaries of every imaginable discipline. Test pilots, including the legendary Colonel Joseph Cotton, spoke of the XB-70 being surprisingly stable for such a radical design, even at triple supersonic speeds. Its sheer scale required new manufacturing processes, and its control systems were some of the most advanced of the era. The aircraft's six massive engines were arranged in a single, enormous duct beneath the wing, creating a unique visual signature. Despite its incredible capabilities, the XB-70 faced shifting strategic realities. The advent of intercontinental ballistic missiles meant that a Mach 3 bomber, no matter how formidable, was seen by some as an increasingly vulnerable and astronomically expensive concept. Tragically, on June 8, 1966, this second XB-70 was involved in a mid-air collision during a photo shoot. A smaller F-104 starfighter, flying too close in formation, was caught in the Valkyrie's powerful wingtip vortex, flipped over, and struck the bomber's tail. 